Hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing well. So in this video, we are going to talk about the role of ChatGPT, which is a powerful AI tool in the field of data engineering. It is not the video to discuss about if the AI will replace data engineering or not. It is totally different topic. Here we are going to discuss about how you can effectively utilize ChatGPT tool to improve your efficiency as well as the accuracy of work in the field of data engineering. So without wasting any time, let's get into it. So the first thing you may ask, what really is a ChatGPT? So ChatGPT is nothing but a natural language processing model which can convert and generate human-like test responses. But your next question would be, how does this relate to data engineering? You are completely right. But data engineering may involve some challenging tasks, right? Like the data validation, data cleansing, as well as the data integration. So have you ever dealt with such type of data, which I have shown in this figure? Yes, right? I know the pain. Data cleansing could be a very time consuming task. And also the one fun fact is data scientists can spend up to 80% of their time to only convert that raw data into the required format. So data cleansing could be very tedious and chat GPT can help us in this process. So now let's talk about some of the potential use cases of chat GPT in data engineering. The first one is data quality checks. So chat GPT can easily analyze our data and also the description of that data and it will help us to find the anomalies as well as the errors in our data set. So it will just generate some piece of code to clean our data effectively in, a, in the required format so that we can just go ahead and like do the analytics right away or else build the data pipeline on top of that data because the next steps would be fairly simple than the process of data cleansing. It is a very tedious task and chat GPT can definitely help us in that. So the next use case is document generation because document generation is also a very crucial step in the data engineering field. So it can assist in automatically creating the documentation of the processes as well as the data pipelines. It is also a very tedious task and you have to do a lot of research in the document generation and the preparation. So in that chat GPT will help us and it will give us the solution fairly quickly within a seconds. So that is the power of chat GPT. So the next use case is very, very useful and I always use it in my day to day work, which is query optimization. I know you know how to code and also build the data pipelines, but that data pipeline should be scalable to handle terabytes of data. And that is the biggest challenge of every data engineer out there. And to do that query optimization as well as the code optimization is a very important task of building every data pipeline. So in that chat GPT will give us various recommendation. If we explain the tool, what is our architecture as well as what type of transformation as well as the tools we are using. And it gives us the automatically generated recommendations for optimizing our workloads so that it could get completed within the timelines. So that is one of the most used and the biggest use case of chat GPT in data engineering. It can also like help us finding errors in our SQL queries as well and give us like the recommendation to optimize that query. And it can save us a lot of time because I know that you can find all sorts of solutions on the stack overflows or the Quora or anywhere else. But chat GPT will give us the results in seconds and you don't have to read a lot of articles to get to the solution. So you can do all sorts of things by integrating chat GPT in your data pipelines using the NLP library. But this is just talking, right? You want to see the demo. I know that and we are going to come with another video where I will prepare a demo and learn about how you can utilize chat GPT in your data pipeline. And we can do that using a very interesting and simple example. But all these mind blowing use cases, there are some limitations as well, like the model limitation. So I know that chat GPT can give us great recommendation, but in the real life, they could not be that much relevant to implement. So that could be the case. There are several limitations of building our architecture and chat GPT can help us improve that, but we cannot implement it right away. There are so many things 
we need to consider before implementing all that you cannot rely 100% on the chat gpt and also the next one would be very important like the data privacy constraint you can't expose the sensitive information in front of chat gpt that is a very serious offense and you should definitely avoid that you cannot upload a data set or give like some records because some of the data will be having some sensitive information like the personally identified information of the customers but to sum it up chat gpt is a game changer tool in the field of data engineering and i highly recommend to use it day to day to improve your efficiency as well as the accuracy of your work because possibilities are endless and ai and nlp have enormous potential in the field of data engineering just think about the chatbots who generate automatic labels in your machine learning data set it's amazing right so for more such videos just subscribe to the channel and also follow our social media to get latest updates thanks for watching